Hello, welcome pen friends. Welcome to Chris's Inked Pens for April 2023. And before we get started, I just want to do a, a shout out, a big thank you to pen friend MS, who is a longtime supporter of this channel, um, who has just sent me a pen box that I had to keep pinching myself to see if I was dreaming. Um, and the first pen that you see here was included in that, but not only the pen, but notebooks and stationery. So thank you, pen friend MS, you know who you are, and I really, really appreciate it. Um, so now we'll jump right in, and uh, I'll take you through the pens that I'll be writing with, and then we'll get in my ink journal and write with them. And I do have, um, well, I have the ink tiles for everything except for the, the ones that were cartridge, and one of the cartridges I actually have too. So we'll just jump right in, and then at the end I'll go over to my library room and, and just kind of talk about some things after that, okay? So the first pen is the one I was talking about, the gift, which is the Pelican M800 with a fine nib. And it is the black and blue edition, and it's just gorgeous. And it, it, as soon as I felt of this pen, I thought, oh, I was totally wrong in what I thought about Pelicans. I thought it would be super lightweight, but it has a nice weight to it. And I just, it wasn't going to ever <laughs> be a pen that I would have, you know, and it just is amazing. Um, so we'll talk about the ink when we get in the ink journal. And then next is, is another pen friend gift from uh, pen friend CS who wanted me to give the Jen Hao X159 another chance. Um, I have mine here, the black one, and it was a, a kind of a sad story. I mean, I, I got it writing, but I never got it to where I was right with it and then a few Weeks later, after I tuned the nib on this one, I filled it again, thinking, well, maybe I was just in a picky mood. And I just couldn't wait to get the ink out of it and clean it out. And I just knew that the nib, you know, maybe I ruined the nib. I'm not sure. That would be pretty rare, though, because I do a lot of nib tuning. And I've never had a pen where I couldn't get it, at least where I was okay with it. You know, where I, I would be okay giving it away. But I wouldn't, I'm waiting for this pen to get to you know for me to be able to get another number eight nib for it before i would even give it away because <laughs> it's just a pen body right now anyway i'm happy to say but we'll i'll show you as well this is a whole different story so i can understand now what everybody was saying so this is in the brown and it has the fine nib and it's really wonderful that the opportunity came like that i wasn't going to spend <laughs> spend another eight or fifteen dollars on one because I was just frustrated, you know, by that. But anyway, so we have it, and we're, we're going to explore that together. And then next is my Pilot Vanishing Point in uh, rhodium and gunmetal finish with a medium nib. And I do have, well, I have a Pilot cartridge in it, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, and here's another pen friend gift. This was, um, well, this was in memory of Willie, and this was from uh, pen friend, let's see, I, I get the initials mixed up. It's an hyphenated, so it's uh, pen friend B, uh, BBR, I wrote down. I hope I'm doing that right. And it's a Caveco Sport in the mellow blue with a double broad. And I, oh, it's just amazing. The nib is great. It changed my opinion of Cavecos. And so um, that's a lovely, lovely pen. And then now we begin with a, the, the last four are going to be part of the student pen project. The first one is a Cross Bailey Light with a fine nib and it, I just popped the little black cartridge in and boy am I excited about this little pen. Really neat. I mean it's pretty early for me to be excited but I am <laughs> and I like the color too. Okay and then this is a Caveco Perkio in all black that I've had around for quite a while. Um, I had trouble with another of my Caveco Perkios, the nib, and maybe I wasn't reaching for this for different reasons, but we're going to give this a good go here. And if the ink I have in it doesn't work out, we'll try something else. Um, and I have two other Quebecos, but one has a ruined nib. That's one of the rare, that's another rare one where I have a ruined nib that I don't think I did it at all because I wasn't doing nib work on it. It just, it all kinds of 
bad. Anyway, <laughs> long story. Um, okay, and next is another one for the student pen project, the Lamy ABC in blue. And it, it, the little nib on it says A. So I'm excited because the last one the, that had A was the Pelican Pelicano Jr. And I've been having a super fun with that one. So we'll see how the Lamy one, you know, does and how it compares. And then another pen friend gift from pen friend uh, C and G S, and that'll make sense to them um, because I think this was sort of a team effort here. Is a Fabric Castile uh, uh, fresh? Okay, and I get confused because I actually I have a brand name Schneider ink in it. That's why I was like Schneider. What am I talking about? This is Fabric Castile. <laughs> anyway. Um, it doesn't say what the nib is, but it, it seems to be a medium. So I'll do some research. Uh, that'll be in the progress report, though, because I'm not sure yet. But it sure looks like a fun pen. Has a little window there. A little looks like an eye. <laughs> it's really cool. Um, okay, so let's move into the ink journal and we'll write with these. <clears throat> Okay, for the first fill of the Pelican M800 um, with the fine nib, I put Waterman Serenity Blue. So let's let's go for it. Whoops, I gotta remember this is a screw cap. My goodness. Don't get nervous, Chris. <laughs> okay, here we go. So this is this to me writes like a medium nib and it's super smooth and it's it's really exciting. <clears throat> I figured the closest I'd get to the, a pen like this would be a pen show until I got the email. <clears throat> okay, so this is a fine nib. And it's, I think, if I was reading right, it said black and blue. Okay, and then it's Waterman. Serenity. Blue. And I'm going to do a little thing. It's nice and wet and I'm going to put here gift pen friend MS. Okay so this is like it's a whole new ballpark for me and I, I love it. It's beautiful. It has a weight that makes it feel special and I just I don't know. I, I think I could talk all day about this pen. I could probably just go through the whole month with just this pen. But when I sit down to write pen pal letters, I generally like more. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so next up, we have the Jinhao X159 in its brown. It's looking a little bit of a dark brown because of my lighting. We, we actually are having weather here and it, it turned out cooler. I put Sailor 50 States Texas in this because I know this ink. And I thought that would give me, what am I doing? Okay, good. I did it right. <laughs> I've got a mixture of pens with different cap mechanisms. I should always check, make sure it's a, it isn't a screw top first. Um, so here we go. And this is just a whole different ball game than the one I got. Um, Jin Hao. X159. Fine. And those of you who watched my review know that I just wanted to love this pen, this one. I wanted to love it because I love the weight of the pen, the pen body, the whole nine yards. The only thing I'd love better is if I could put my beloved number six nibs in it. But, you know, that they, they haven't done that, I don't think, yet, and I hope they will. But, um, you know, this has that number eight nib, which is an oversized nib, which is great if the nib is good. And if you don't ruin it trying to fix it, <laughs> I'll sometime if I get brave, I'll show you what I did. I, I think I over micro meshed it, but we, I just can't believe I did that because I've done a whole lot of pens and not had any trouble. But okay, so this is Sailor 50 States, Texas. I can see what all the hubbub is about when I write with this because this is a whole different thing. Um, and we're going to put this here too, so I'll remember. Gift. A lot of this stuff happened all at the same time too. It was like an avalanche of good coming my way, and I was really, like, really excited. I still am, of course. <laughs> okay, so there's that one. It is just... You know, I can see the variation that I was getting with the other one, and yet I don't feel that horrible 
having to put pressure. I can write, see, I write with a light pressure and I write fast. So I can see where some pens that might work for others might not work for me. But, you know, I'm learning that. I'm kind of getting in tune with how I write. Definitely light and fast. I just, that's why I like fountain pens so much because you don't have to press like you do with ball points and other pens. So this is my Pilot Vanishing Point with a medium nib. It's uh, rhodium gunmetal. I think I already said that. And I popped in a cartridge because I had a bunch of these and it looks like a lovely purple. It's not a dark purple, but I've got another dark purple. So it's Pilot Namiki Purple Cartridge. And I, I harvested one so I could do this tile because I thought I might be end up doing a few comparisons with purple inks later. So this is Pilot Vanishing Point. Medium. And then we'll just put Rhodium GM for gunmetal. I know what that means. And then Pilot Namiki Purple cartridge. Uh, for a long time, this was the most I've ever spent on a pen, and I'm trying to think if I've... I'll have to keep thinking about that. I don't, I don't think I have exceeded the price of this, <laughs> uh, because my vanishing... my uh, Maybe I did. Maybe when I got the, the Lamy 2000, but I had gotten that on a wicked sale, but they would probably be very close in price. So it was a, like a income tax kind of thing a couple years ago. I love this and it feels like it's gonna be super smooth. I'm not sure whether the pink purple is gonna be dark enough for me, but I believe it'll be fine on good paper for letter writing. So that's what I'm up to. So next is the, the little Caveco Sport uh, with a double broad and I put a shimmer ink in it because I know that this double broad will handle it and it is, J. Arbonne, 1798, Kianit du Nepal. Now, I think I'm going to have to, like, kind of <laughs> rock this around a little, or hopefully I can get it agitated a little. Oh, I just splatted everywhere. You see that? <laughs> oh, no. Paper towel, where are you? 4 it's 4 p.m. and we made a mess. Okay. That's all right. No panic. Ink is always welcome here. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's a significant mess that I made. <laughs> I will be cleaning that up. I think it's agitated, don't you? <laughs> oh, my gosh. This is not quite live, but almost. Okay. Here we go. Quebec. Well, you know, that's, I was asking for trouble. I shook the heck out of it. It's a wonder I didn't bust it all loose. Quebec Sport. Whoops. BB Mellow Blue and J. Arbon Kianit. Uh oh, Coco's getting in trouble in the other room. I think Manuel's trying to pin some jeans to be um, hemmed, and so he's got Coco over there. I think he's going to let me have it in a little bit. <laughs> And this was Gift, Pen Friend, BBR. I'm not sure I'm doing that right. It's hyphenated. Okay. And then I'll do a little X. And oh, we've got that beautiful link everywhere. <laughs> I think we're okay, though. Let me open it up and make sure. Yeah, we're okay. It just, you know, I got crazy with the agitating the shimmer ink. So, note to self. <laughs> That is not necessary. Okay, so next up, we, we won't have to worry. This is the little Cross Bailey Light with a fine nib and a black cartridge, and it'll be part of the student pen project. It's a real lightweight pen, and it's got a really smooth, fine nib, too. Cross Bailey. Whoops. Uh-oh, he's getting in a lot of trouble. <clears throat> light. Fine nib. Oh, and the color on this, I think it's teal. I'm going to write that, but that's, I think that's what the box said. With a black cartridge. 
the cartridge came with a pen. And yeah, this is Student Pen Project, and it was, um, you know, channel funds that I got it with. It's got a cap liner. I think that's going to be fun. I actually think it's going to be really, really good in my little uh, Hobonichi, but we'll see. It's a little bit wide for that, but I think it'll be good. Let me try a little bit of a smear here. Okay, so yeah, it's, it's wet enough, that's for sure. Okay, and then another black ink. I know you're wondering what's going on here. I put uh, Noodler's Heart of Darkness in this little all-black Caveco Perkio. Oh my goodness, I hope you don't hear Coco crying. That's terrible. But he was over here trying to get into the ink really bad a few minutes ago, so he had to be escorted off scene. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. So this one's a little wider. This is Caveco. Perkio, medium, all, all black, I think is the name of it. And it is Noodler's Heart of Darkness. I know this will be okay in my bullet journal because it's 120 GSM paper in the Loistrum, the new style uh, bullet journal. But I see that this is putting down a lot of ink, and this normally would bleed through a lot. So, I don't know. I don't know exactly how, how what a what uh, ink choice this was. We'll find out. Okay, and then, um, okay, we got two more. We've got the Lamy ABC, and that one also is using the cartridge that came in the pen. A blue cartridge. Let's see, I don't know. No, these don't post, okay. I know nothing about this pen yet, except it has a, a little rubber uh, grip, and it's got wood. It's real cute, and it, it is definitely meant for children. But I think we can all, there's a child in all of us, so. <laughs> this is Lamy ABC Blue with an A nib and a blue Lamy cartridge. Okay, and it'll be, of course, part of the student pen project. Okay. Good. It puts down a good amount of ink. Not, not as much, of course, as that one up there with the Heart of Darkness, but... Okay, and then next, and last but not least, I went into my uh, little shop boxes to look at my samples, and this Schneider Violet was there, and I thought, why haven't I used this? ink sample. It's been a long time since I did anything with it. And not only that, but I thought Schneider, Schneider. And then I remembered all these Schneider pens that we've been using. Um, you know, starting with a Schneider Ray and then moving on from there. And I thought, oh, they make ink too. Um, and this was, the ink was a gift from pen friend FD. It's a little sample. See, I got it around here somewhere. Right here. I've, I've done pretty well by it because it's almost gone. But I can't remember when the last time was I wrote with it. And then this pen was a pen uh, gift from pen friend C and GS. So thank you very much um, to kind of bump up the project and help us see another pen here. So here it is. It's a nice dark purple. I, you know, I went on the internet to try to find it though. And I couldn't find it. So I don't know what ink Schneider is currently making. I just see they have a lot of cartridges around that you can find. But this is a Faber, the pen is a Faber Castile Fresh. And I'm calling it a medium nib, but I'm going to put a question mark because it is not labeled. So when I do the research, it may turn out to be an A or something else. I don't know. Uh, and the ink is Schneider. Violet, it's gorgeous. I mean, let's see if we can get a little bit of a, so you can see that inner color. Yeah, it's it's pretty. And so we've got a pen from um, uh, C and G S and ink from Pen Friend F D. Thank you very much. Um, and this looks like just a fun pen. Let's see, I think there's a uh, converter in it. Yeah, they, they put a converter in it, which is amazing. 
um, and we're ready to go. And it's super smooth writer. So this ought to be a fun month. But these are the eight um, pens and inks that I will be coming back to, to cover in the uh, progress report in the middle of the month. But I think I'm going to head over to the library and then just, uh, just give some general thoughts of things. So I'll be right back with you. Oh my gosh, when I, I moved over to this side of the house, I heard Coco running down the hall. It sounded like a herd of horses. He just was like, okay, now, now I'm free, I'm free. She's over here now. And I could see him. He's looking at me. He went over there to eat in his little uh, area that's right near where I tape, but he just likes to climb all over everything. So what, one of these days, we just need to do a video, just Coco and me, just whatever he wants to do. But I could pretty well predict that he won't do anything because it's only when he knows that I'm doing a pen video that he comes on the scene. So this is, April is looking to be a really exciting month and I'll stick to my normal thing of, of uh, you know, put, getting all of these uh, pens and inks into my ink journal and, and testing them out and writing with them all month, letters, uh, journal entries, and, and definitely a lot of note taking in the books I'm reading. The other thing is I have four that I put in here that are carried over. <clears throat> in fact, one is carried over quite a long time, but I really want to finish <clears throat> the Lamy 2000. It's got a beautiful teal in it and I, I, it's got that Colorverse Gravity Wave. So that gives me a teal. And then I did carry over my um, Opus 88, uh, this one, with the Colorverse Supernatural. And I'm still, of course, writing with the little Pelican Pelicano Jr. because I'm going to be doing a pen report. And I just, there's no way I can stop writing with my Benu Talisman in Mandrake. So uh, these will all be right on uh, my Grammy's desk where I'm writing along with the other eight in the actual uh, pen roll. So that's actually eight, that's 12, and that's just the maximum. Like, I've got to behave because I'll have pens rolling all over and I won't know what's going on. I mean, I've got them all categorized in my currently inked, but I, I just really enjoy it better if I keep it under 12. So I'm starting the month with 12, so it's really going to be something. But yeah, I can still, you know, enjoy that Solferino in the Banu and the uh, Supernatural in the Opus. So it's going to give me a good variety. And you know that Diamine Oxford Blue in the little uh, Pelican Pelicano Jr. has just been so wonderful. And you, I don't really think of that ink. I don't know what possessed me to even put it in that, but it's gorgeous. And I need to use that Oxford Blue more. I love it. I mean, there was a reason I bought a bottle of that and used it all. And then now I have a 30 mil bottle. So there was a reason for that. But there's just so much excitement and Coco's feeling all better now. He's, you know, he was all better within like 24 and then 48 hours. He was all, all better from his little tummy thing. And so... Um, Spring came and then spring went because <laughs> we got a cold front here. But I'm enjoying that because I'm not going to be able to wear long sleeves or anything uh, much longer. And it's, it's just going to be hot, which in a way I'm ready for. But uh, it means more yard work and all that kind of thing. But I think I'm ready for that too. Um, I don't know. If I had to predict, you know, which pen I was going to enjoy the most, I just... It's going to be really hard because there's a lot going on there. And with the Pelican, I, I'm still like, I'm still wondering if it's just a long dream, you know, <laughs> because it's just, you know, I wanted to go and try Pelican pens at a pen show. And now I have one and it just is shocking to me. Um, and I love the way it feels when I write with it. And, you know, I, I never would have thought that. In fact, I was, I would tell myself things like, well, it's probably super lightweight and you wouldn't like it anyway because you'd feel like you weren't, you know, getting a lot for your money or, you know, weird things that now it's like, wow, you really, that, I can understand why there are pen shows <laughs> because I, I had some misconceptions. And even when I purchased my Banu pen, the beauty of the pen was like 10 times what I saw in the photos. You know, the, the way the light catches it and the whole nine yards, just, I, I was stunned and I could suddenly realize, you know, oh, this is why they're so wildly um, popular. If you like the colors that are, that are, you know, that the pen you choose has, it's just wild. Um, 
Yeah. And, you know, like, it's so funny. Speaking of pen shows, I've wanted to go to one for a long, long time. But uh, just a, a couple of days ago, Emmanuel said, well, you can go to a pen show or you can go to Vermont. You know, like he's and I, he was joking, but like that's that's the level of, you know, travel funds and the whole like, you know, buying plane tickets and hotel and whatever. You know, it, it, it's it's funny and yet it's not really funny because it's like oh okay if I was going to do both I'd have to do some I'd have to make some changes in in income level or something so I don't know and then that little Caveco sport I didn't bring all the pens over here with me that one I already know is such a joy to write with and I'll have that shimmer ink that beautiful key and eat do Nepal in it so there's a lot to get excited over. At first I was thinking, well, what am I going to, you know, am I going to have enough letter writing pens or am I using a bunch of uh, cartridges and colors that aren't exciting? But actually when lately I've been using all the pens in the letters, even if they're uh, a student pen with a just a plain blue ink, just to really get used to the pens. And it helps me when I get ready to do a report. So that's probably what I'll do. And after all, I'll have 12 pens, so it's not going to be, there's not going to be any, um, a deficit of letter writing. And I could dip, I could use a serendipity and do some, um, dipping if I really felt like I needed a certain color for a certain pen pal letter. So, and speaking of that, I've been putting out letters, but I've really got quite the reply stack right now. So if you're waiting for a letter from me, it, it'll be coming and I'm working to catch up. So I think that's pretty much it. I hope, I mean, I didn't take notes because I got in a little bit of a jam. Um, tomorrow is going to be a, an appointment and then the next day is going to be uh, a family thing. And so I, I, I thought I, I got to do this. I want this to be organized for, you know, for the right timing for myself to sit down with the new pens. And uh, so here I am. <laughs> Uh, a couple of days before the month ends, I'm filming this, and then we'll see how long it takes to, to put it together for you, but it uh, doesn't generally take me very long. So what are you writing with for April? Have you made choices yet? Um, this is March 29th, and I've made these choices knowing that the next two days are going to be wild, just, you know, unpredictable and quite full. So I'd like to hear from you in the comments what what you'll be writing with and, you know, any excitements or or challenges or anything like that with your writing or, or whatever you want to talk about. We always enjoy, I think, meeting in the comments. So I will see you there. And also, I, I've already started putting together the pen report for the Pelicano Jr., which I think is a pen really worth looking at. It's it's really something. I, it just kind of, it blows my mind that in that category, I'm finding pens that impress me. Um, the one thing I did think of and realize is, and, and I, I guess I could see it as a weakness, but I'm not putting the exact same ink in each of these pens. And I had planned to do that, but I just feel like using the cartridges that come with them is one way of using it the same way someone would, you know, if they were either new to the hobby or young or, you know, like a child going to school. Um... That's one reason, but then I'm thinking to myself, as we go through the year, I may be wanting to more and more see uh, perhaps that uh, Waterman Serenity Blue and more of these, especially if I have any kind of issues or questions, then if I standardize, I believe that's the route I'm going, is Waterman Serenity Blue. Um, and interestingly, the Diamine Oxford Blue it's darker and it's super, super, well, that's brightening, brightening up because of my lighting in here, but it's just a really nice dark navy blue. That's a good one too. So it's inconsistently consistent <laughs> because I'm just putting either the cartridge or something that uh, seems to me like it would write well in the pen. So as I go along and if I get feedback on that and and different uh suggestions i'll take them and we'll just we'll just keep going as long as we uh keep the fun in the project i think it's going to be okay so i'll let you go because we're approaching the <laughs> you know the pumpkin time here it's almost 30 minutes and i'll see you next time and i'll see you in the comments bye for now